compare the molecular structure of water, ammonia, hydrogen sulfide. The differences in their molecular shape and their melting point and boiling point. These are the melting and boiling points of water, ammonia and hydrogen sulfide. As you can see, water's melting and boiling point are significantly higher than those of ammonia and hydrogen sulfide. But why is this? Reasons for these melting and boiling points. Water. Due to the polarity of water molecules, dihydrogen monoxide forms a special type of dipole-dipole bond known as a hydrogen bond. This means that intermolecular forces between molecules and water are relatively strong. Further, the tetrahedral lattice structure of solid water means that it requires even more energy to melt water. This results in water having a higher than average melting and boiling point. Hydrogen sulfide. Hydrogen sulfide might look almost identical to water, but its melting and boiling point are significantly lower. This is because it doesn't have the hydrogen bonds between its polar molecules, but instead has weaker dipole-dipole bonds. Note that the hydrogen bonds are, are about 10 times stronger than dipole-dipole forces. The intermolecular structure of hydrogen sulfide is similar to water, but the size of sulfide makes this structure weaker. Overall, this results in a molecule that is significantly lower melting point and boiling point than water. Ammonia Ammonia has a slightly higher melting and boiling point than hydrogen sulfide because it has slightly stronger intermolecular forces between its molecules. It has hydrogen bonding like water, but its inability to form a recurring crystal lattice makes it significantly easier to melt solid ammonia. There are three main areas of partial positive charge near each of the hydrogens, while there is only one area of partial negative charge near the nitrogen. This makes it difficult for ammonia to form this a crystal lattice.